Last time on AI, the Somnium Files. You're Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Ow! Oh, what a strange fake eye. <laughs> This feeling, I'm back. I got it all back. This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. I think I'll keep it. And now, the epic conclusion you've all been waiting for. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? Oh, damn. I was gonna get completely deleted and be gone. And then Falco. <sighs> Hayato Yagyu. 42. Police officer and assassin. Uh, likes a special elementary school teacher and her daughter. Dislikes zombies, haunted houses, and evil crimes. Hobbies, camping, barbecue, and Okonom... Okonomiyaki. Skills, assassination. Kaname Date's true identity, also known as Falco, or Number 89. He was working as a police officer by day and an assassin by night until six years ago. Wow, that's all updated. I have been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I need you to see it clearly. Awake. Looking at it. Uh, at, at what? At uh, what? Well, there's the Renju's body. Renju. Uh, okay. A counter attack! Oh, shit! Saito is off guard. Might be able to make a move. I tried to sweep Saito's feet. But then. Oh, shit. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I think I screwed up. I'm gonna go back real quick so I can ask those questions. Okay, so I get to ask questions now. Locker. What happened after we exchanged minds? What are you doing? Follow him! Oh, so, uh, yeah, so I'm glad I didn't just do the counterattack right away like I initially did because I fucked up. After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. Peace. But that error did allow me to escape prison. No! Stop! Because, quote unquote, Rohan shot her. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial, being the one inside Rohan's body at the time for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. However... Insanity. That's what it came down to. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. All right, I remember that. They talked about it. About uh, Rohan after the personality exchange. Stop right there! So instead of Rohan, 89 was accused of being the accomplice in uh, the Cyclops' killings. Which is technically true, because it was Rohan in his body. Uh. 
Six years ago, Rohan, in Falco's body, visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. <clears throat> Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. A serial killer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. And you didn't? Consider yourself lucky. Um, yeah, he probably did deserve worse, but he's... <sighs> he's redeemable, which is the difference between him and you. What was Falco's real name? You would know more about that than me, or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Huh. Imagine a police officer being a serial killer. I don't think the public would react kindly to that if they found out. Technically, the uh, like the people that he killed, at least until he got wrapped up by the Kumakuras, were like horrible people. He just took the law into his own hands, which he shouldn't have done, but he still did. Heads would roll. Departments would fold. There would be shameful suicides. Damn. That's dramatic, don't you think? So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yaku ceased to exist. And Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison, where he was known as Number 89. Fitting for a man with no name. Huh. Counterattack! And now we're going back to where we were. I might be able to make a move. And so then this is good what's gonna happen. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Three. No, wait! Damn. Holy shit! How did Moma know? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But are you really Dante? Yeah, don't you know? Yeah, someone called Aiba told me about it. Ah, it was weird. It was kind of like eavesdropping. Aiba? Oh! Oh! I don't see her anywhere. She's still in his eye! Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but... Bastard got me. Take this. Yes! Oh, cool! Do it! Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Please, save them. I'm on it! I give a firm nod and grip the gun, following after Saito. We're at the climax of the game. Date, do you like fireworks? Oh no, Hitomi. I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. The flash begins as a perfectly ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? As is the universe itself. Damn it. I can't get into my sight. And I can't get any help from Aiba. Blooming. Scattering in the moment. And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you think so? No! Should I just risk it? But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. 
It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect. Beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it. What do I do? What do I do? I know what I want to do. Nice! Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? Good job! Tessa! I'm here to help! Oh, you hit him toward the gun. That's not good. Wait, Mizuki! No! Yes! Woo! Ha! Ah, get him! Kick his ass! Oh yeah! Woo! We're a badass! Did you find him? No! I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? Alrighty. Oh god! Ah, we're all here! Oza, where'd he get to? Some girl named oh. Iba told me to come. I heard everything. About the mind swapping, too. I heard it, too. From Saito. Coco, it's really you, right? Yeah! It's me! How's your foot? I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. Mizuki's leaning on Iris. Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. I'm on it. You came to help? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Got it. Okay, equipment. Okay, wh wh where am I supposed to go? What do you want me to do here? Okay. Need to find si Okay, what do you want me to do, though? There's gotta be a metal door. Through the door? I didn't hear it open. Is he still nearby? Maybe. Sido took a blow and fell to the other side of the container. When I climbed to look, I couldn't see him anywhere. No. Not there. Ooh, the stairs! I heard footsteps earlier. Like someone going up the stairs. To the top floor. Scaffolding. Can't see Saito. Oh, there he is! I see him! Date! Hitomi? Hitomi! I sprinted as fast as I could, rushing up the stairs step after step until they blurred together. When I reached the top floor, a sight I will never forget greeted my eye. Damn it! Mom! Iris! It seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? <laughs> oh, am I wrong? <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks? Fine. Let's do this then. Date, drop your weapon. I promise I'll put the fireworks on hold. I'll even release this woman. He's lying, Date! Yay. Don't do it! Throw down your gun, Date. Ah, 
I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Daddy! You want to shoot me? Is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? What will you do? I'm not gonna do it. Because I have a better plan, which I think I know I... Uh, well done. Cool heads prevail! However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? Huh? You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's be ready. 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about. I'm a... Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot assist the surge of electricity shorted out my circuit. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. However, there is another option. I wish they wouldn't have heavy-handedly brought it up, because I figured it out, and I knew what it was. Yep, I mean, I knew that. And I wish they would have... Let us determine a code number. See, rather than flashing back to all this, they should have had it in the moment where he just said the code. Where he just said the code and they did it instead of doing the whole flashback. It ruins the moment! Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? No, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Ten. Nine. Say it, Tate. Six. Tate. Command. Two. He threw it down. <laughs> you are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? No. Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. I know. I miss you, best girl. I'm so sorry. Command. Four, one, two, zero, five. Okay, Dante. I, I... God. Okay, this this does hurt. This hurts a lot. Oh god, she was adorable. All the times, all the good times. I, I hate you, Iba. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. <laughs> Goodbye, Iba. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna fuck a computer for this. Be seeing you. Oh! Holy fuck! Uh. 
We lost Iba in order to save Hitomi. But Iba knew that. I'm glad his head exploded. It was abrupt, though. It wasn't like I thought it was gonna be. I thought he'd be like, ah, or something. No, it was just, and he's gone. Oh, fuck. Has Iba always been in your left eye? No, for six years. Well, five years, actually. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. Thank my partner. Mr. Falco. It is you, Falco. Right? Oma's alive too! Strange. You shouldn't call me that. I am Kaname Dante. Yeah! MPD, Special Investigation Team of this. Oh. Sinker. Ha 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 Oh boy. This. This has been a hell of a game. Well, everyone's, uh, I mean, like, here's the thing is that instead of a bunch of people dying, which is in, like, you know, the sad timeline, we're in the timeline where we only lost Shoko, Renju, and Aiba. Three months later, Kasai. Huh. Ikume Shrine. Three months later. Uncle, your left eye. Oh, this? <laughs> it's just a prosthetic. Oh. It doesn't bother me. Oh, good. Oh, my God. You know, if we had some fishing lining. I never thought you'd be an offering box thief. No, no. You've got it all wrong. <laughs> I swallowed a goldfish. I'm trying to get it out by swallowing some fishing line. Are you sure your brain is fully recovered? <gasps> Oh, she must have had the surgery! Offering box. Why did you want to come here? Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Oh, man. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it. Scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Well, damn. I win! I win! Yay! <laughs> By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. What, uh, what, what question? What question? When am I gonna hear good news from you two? When will Uncle be my dad? Oh. Hmm. I turned away without answering. I stared out into the distance, and something caught my eye. Winter irises in full bloom. Do you like my new body? more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's a rugged kind of handsome. I miss my young body. I miss the Date. I miss, I miss like, you know, the Saito body. How are you? As you can see, I'm great. Hop, hop, kangaroo goes hop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah, the nano machines went pew pew and bzz, bzz and got rid of all the tumors. At least that's what I think they sound like. 
I don't know, they're small. <laughs> anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. It is. All thanks to the boss. She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? She probably blackmailed uh, Sajima. That's not exactly true. Boss didn't pay out of her pocket. It was a confidential transfer of funds from the main office. Iris knows everything about the original and new Cyclops killings now. Not just her, uh, Itomi, Mizuki, Ota, Moma, they all know. The higher-ups were willing to do anything to keep this from getting out. Oh yeah, they were. So in return for her silence, they agreed to pay for Iris' treatment. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality. Oh. In a dream somewhere. I remember that timeline. I was there. I did it. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Indeed. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. Oh. Yesterday, Iris was discharged from the hospital. Iris said she wanted to see everyone who visited her. She's a little embarrassed to go by herself, so I promised I'd take her. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go! That's a little creepier now. Oh, yes, everywhere! I want to go to Abyss Headquarters, like, last. Uh, let's go to Marble. We'll go talk to Mama first. We're in the epilogue now, so it's fine. Marble. Dante, honey. Who is this? Have I not introduced her before? I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin? Hmm? I'm just saying, sweetie, you look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> That's... And what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey, because I associate with fairies and am an older motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. <laughs> um, hello, bodyguard, eh? What are you doing here? You says bodyguard. All right, he wouldn't recognize this face. Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig a long time ago. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. I punched him in the face and I quit. Oh, you're drunk, aren't you? You're drunk, aren't you? I'm not drunk. Hello, not drunk. My name is Date. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. Mama! Tits! Whoops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay! Yeah! Oh, that was funny. Ha <laughs> ha. About your headband. Hey, Iris, I've been wondering. What's with your headband? Oh, this? It kept my brain tumor from spreading. I don't really need it anymore, but I feel naked without it, you know? Oh, that would actually make sense. Well, Mama, how you doing? How are you, Mama? As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How could I see that? You want to? No. I do. No, Iris! No, you do not! No, you do not! Do you even know what she's referring to? Yes! Dear God, no! Huh? What are you doing with that, Bonito? This? It's not Bonito. Then, what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. Oh! Oh my God! Dear Christ! I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. There's a part of me that believes her. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> oh, I love your mama. Uh, about things for the past three months. I can't say much. The public thinks our Ren killed Shoko. 
But he didn't. We know that. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... Saito Tsujima and his body are gone forever. The body I was in for the past six years. But the head office never uh, would never admit that publicly. Because at the time, the body was thought to be Detective Kaname Date. So they tweaked things a little bit and pinned everything on 89. Said he committed suicide at the old factory. Only Kaname Date managed to survive. That's how they wrote it. But that's not the truth. We already know the truth, so it's fine. Mama, the truth is... Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. The Date's face, for one thing. Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. Ha! Ah! That's what they said, huh? That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. If it's anything more complicated than that, I will lose my mind. That is exactly it then, Mama. We gotta go, Mama. I love you. Bye-bye. We should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? Yes, Mama. Don't worry. I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. No, thank you. I want to get married to Hitomi now. Sure, Mama. See you soon. Rufridge. Hi, Ray. Let me introduce you to Mama's little brother. Oh, that's the fridge! <laughs> that was worth it! Ooh. Kamakura office. I keep saying Kamakura, it's Kumakura. But you guys mean what I know. Date, let me tell you something. God exists. When Tessa was in the hospital, I prayed to this shrine every day. And guess what? My prayers worked. God must have been listening. Are you crying? No, dumbass. I don't cry. I don't. Yeah, you're crying. Thank you, God. Thank you for saving Tessa. <laughs> I get it now. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I... The whole time I kept thinking, why do they call her Tessa? It's a set backwards. I am so stupid. Last episode, I figure it out. Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa, you didn't have to come see me. I really wanted to see you. Oh, well, well in that case, yes, of course. Uh, I, I am here. Gotta love it. Your clothes. Are you wearing the right size? Shut up! None of your business! Lost a lot of weight, okay? You look like you're dying. I'm not! You really should see a doctor. Oh, Tessa. Believe it or not, I am a doctor. Oh. Seriously? Yeah, he doesn't look like it, but he really is a doctor. They come to me when they don't want to go to a real hospital. So... Yeah, he's our mom doctor. Oh! Isn't that interesting? Where's the other guy? The other guy was here. Maybe he's not here right now. Oh, there he is. Uh, you oh. right? Do I look alright? Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard you got plastic surgery. You look better than before. It suits you. Yeah, he just has a completely different voice. Come on, guys. Not sure how to take that compliment. Chairman's chair. Haha, <laughs> MoMA. Wedding? Wedding. Dress. Bless. Tessa. Imaging. Press. Process. Tessa. Cry. Redress. Transgress. Tessa. The Net Idol Superstar. Tessa. They said you bet. Wow, that's really cool. What did you do to these guys? 
Just a little propaganda. Sun up to sun down. I made him watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted. I love this man. Tessa, I'm so honored to meet you. So, I'm not saying that um, you all should do this to your family and friends. You know, like... Like, you know, keep them in a room and keep my videos playing forever. I'm not saying that is what you should do. All I'm saying is that I will not endorse it. I will say that you probably shouldn't have did that. But then secret handshakes as a thank you. I don't know. <laughs> is it okay if I shake your hand? Oh, dear God. You bastard. What makes you think you're good enough to touch her hand? Says the guy who tried to see her panties and her boobs. It's fine. It's just a handshake. Yes. The fat one ran up to her and with the look of awe in his eyes, slowly took her hand. So soft. He shouted out in joy. What? He fainted. Too much excitement, I guess. Jeez, Tessa is a force to be reckoned with. About MoMA. Mr. Kumakura? I think he's really nice. He's not bad. Of course I am. About that ring. I won't give it to you. <laughs> oh, I love it. About Rohan. Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I know he was a murderer. A real piece of shit. But we were brothers. I can't be mad at him no matter how much he deserves it. But I can't just forgive him either, you know? That's how it should be. So I figure, fuck it. It's better to just forget about it. Good plan, Mama. How's your injury? Injury? You got shot three months ago. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. You were limping and couldn't run after, you know, Saito. I'm all good now. All right, we're done here. Anyway, sorry to bother you, Mama. Dante, wait. Before you go, I have one favor to ask. No! I know what favors you do! Oh boy, here it comes. This is hard for me to get out, but... Uh, yeah? Yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> panties? I never ask for something like that. Then what do you want? Puff Puff. Uh, I'm sorry? I want Tessa to Puff Puff me. What? What is that? I don't... I don't know what Puff Puff means! Internet! Engage! What does Puff Puff mean? A few moments later... A medium-sized colored cotton ball. I don't think that's what it means. I'm... Okay. We're gonna find out. You know what I'm saying? Just shove my face in there! No! Just... He wants the motorboat! Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine. I'll ask. Dante, you're a real friend. All right, close your eyes. Yeah, yeah, like this? Good, yeah, stay still. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise. What are you doing? I know what he's doing. You ready? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Dante, I've never felt so alive. All these shitty years of my life have been worth it for this moment. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, let's go. We're leaving. I don't know what's going on, but okay. I have saved you, Tessa. This is amazing. I am living. Bye, Moma. You were a cool dude for like all of five minutes. All right, let's uh, let's go to the diner next. Sure, why not? Oh, Tessa, your surgery went well, didn't it? Who is that lady? The nurse lady next to her. Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Um, hello. Oh. Who is this? Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? 
Oh. Thank you for taking care of my boy. You're welcome. I got him killed in another timeline, but we don't live in that one, so it's fine. We live in the good timeline. We live in the happy timeline. Hello, nurse! You're the nurse from Central Hospital. <clears throat> well, yes. Have we met? That's right. My face is different than uh, it was when we first met. Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. Hmm. Well, you seem pretty happy. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. What? I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. I used to have a bit part during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end, too. <laughs> What? What? Oh, okay. Um, I, it's a meta joke, but I love it. I'm really happy about that. That's wonderful, Spooky. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. You're getting married? She has the same voice as the receptionist. Yes. That is so wonderful. Thank you. She, she has the same voice as the receptionist. That's weird. Huh. Well, not weird, but just like, I just noticed this. Uh, about the diner. It's doing great, thanks to you. It is? The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working hard. We never get any time to rest. <sighs> Mayumi suffers from a brain dysfunction. I learned about it just before the incident three months ago. Also, she her diner was actually closed up, and her husband has already passed away. Fortunately, it turned out that even the most advanced... Uh, unfortunately, it turns out that even the most advanced <clears throat> medical technology couldn't cure her dementia. But her medicine keeps her... Uh, helps her manage the symptoms. It's a little odd, but it brings Mayumi happiness. To her, her husband is still alive, and her diner is still in business. I don't know if she remembers me. I look different than I did three months ago. Yeah, you're shorter. She did ask me who I was, after all. <sighs> but even if I were in my old body, she might still have asked the same thing. It's true. But she does remember Iris. Is it because she's Otis' friend? Uh, about Iris. I visited her in the hospital. Oda brought me. Yeah, I remember. I was so charmed by her. Oh, that's weird. Very different from what you said when we first met you. Oh, stop. You're making me blush. I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. But now I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, about Ota. Ota? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. That's not true. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. He really can. Of course, 99% of life is not when the time calls for it. Oh, you're praising my boy. I am, for like the 1% of the time he's a good person. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. I would love that. Don't put any puffer fish in it. Time to go. Well, let's get going. Yeah. Goodbye. Ah, uh, shit. Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, about my Yumi. Okay, good. I can still do this. She's so cute and fashionable. She's such a nice lady. She is. Lady? Oh, sorry. Uh, big sister, right? Or maybe mother-in-law? You might be calling me that one day. <laughs> I don't think so. She's not really that attracted to Ota. Ota's a good kid, but sorry. <gasps> it's an octopus. What? Uncle, this is serious. It's... it's... a round chair! And... have you run out of things to comment on? <laughs> oh... Uh, sunfish pocket. They're still advertising their own game. Good for them. Smart.
I am seriously so happy for you, Tessa. Oh, this is where he is. It's thanks to you, Ota. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. I didn't do no, much. No, you did a lot. Just you know, don't be too gloaty about it. I just risked my life to save Okay, no! Now you're being a gloating dick! It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving your life. It absolutely is. I see Ota is still Ota. Hello, mermaid. About my face. Ota told me. Plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face. More than the other one. Oh! Is that so, young lady? You're good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a bit of a different personality now that he's back in his original body. Probably because of the fact that he doesn't have, you know, a malfunctioning brain. Hmm. All right. Uh, what's your relationship with the girls here? You didn't know? I made lots of friends working here part time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? No. <laughs> Excuse me? Ota, you can't just say yeah, that. Yeah, that's very rude. Damn you, Ota. Hmm. This is great. I'm getting this wonderful epilogue. Shadows. Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAP. Fears. Upset. Regret. I love it! Water. Wet. Sweat. Aset. It's so weird! That one is... Aset, you bet. Still a little uncomfortable, but okay! I can't believe you remember that, Uncle. I remember everything, young lady! I'm so happy. You're welcome, sweetheart! I said most of Fuck it. Fuck you! <laughs> I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! Oh, I'm so sorry, it just... This is what happens when I get too excited. Fuck <laughs> you! I, I don't care, I loved it. Okay, I'm glad you're okay. I'm actually exhausted right you're now. You're fine! Fuck you, you didn't go through surgery! But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway... How are you? I guess I'm alright. In your left eye. It's fake. I can't see anything out of it. And it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. Oh, I miss Iba. Iba went with Saito. Damn it. So, Iba? What a tragedy. It really was. Oh. I want to punch him in the face so bad every time I see that scene. He doesn't deserve that happiness. Yeah. She was so cute. What a waste. You're disrespecting best girl. Future Brandon, smite him. Thank you, Future Brandon. I know you worked very hard on that. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, Mary. So would I! You would not survive the attack. <laughs> what do you mean? Ota, what are you seeing? In front of Iris? Oh! <laughs> Tessa, I was kidding. It was a No, it was not! It's fine, I don't care. Thank goodness. I don't think that's what she means. No, what she means is that she doesn't care about you, bro. How you been? been doing good. By the way, if you ever speak Best Girl Iba's name again, I will end you. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. I might just be the hardest working 20-something in Japan. Uh... No. No, you're not. I don't know about that. Yeah, fuck you. Really, though? You're working hard, and that's good. There's nothing wrong with working hard gotta be like in the top three in Tokyo alone fuck you I thought of kicking I thought of kicking his ass and then I did <sighs> but I didn't think it would take bye asshole well Ota oh you're going already I can see you anytime I want right at Matsushita diner 
You'll... you'll come? Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome. Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. Alrighty. How... Uh, the places I want to visit last are these three, because they're very important. I think what we'll do is we'll do, um, Lemnus Gate, uh, Seijima, Sagan, and then Abyss. I saw Mizuki when I saw when I I saw Mizuki when I saw Lemnis Gate. Because of what happened this morning, Mizuki and I are in something of a cold war. She won't even look at me. We're both stubborn, neither of us want to apologize first. Receptionist, do you want to go to that island? Thank you! Excuse me? Uh, you might not remember, but three months ago, I called to ask you about Renju, and you told me about Sunfish Pocket. You really helped me out. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. Okay, bye. You want to go to a Tommy with me? A Tommy? Why? Uh, well... Oh, ha, I love that. That's, that's a wonderful reference to the ending. Yo! Yo! She ignored me with all her might. Yeah! Yeah! Sit on my hand like a sword, ready to strike. You wanna fight me? She didn't seem to take it as a joke. I better not fight her. I wouldn't get workers comp for that. Hello! Hello. How are you? Crazy old man. Nothing, huh? Alright. Could you ask Mizuki if she's graduating soon? to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform and hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school and a new smartphone and a new iron pipe. That's what she said. Uh, can you ask Mizuki why she's here? Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited daddy's stock at Lemnisgate. Oh. This is my company now. Isn't it natural that I be You're here? You're 12 and don't know how to run a company. That's what she said. Can you ask how she's been? Uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? We do. We still do. Of course you don't know. Because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. Oh! Adopted her! Thank God! That's what she said. Uh. Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Dante. How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well, burned to the pan on the bottom, and chewy on top. Why don't you just eat an eraser? An eraser would taste better than what you served. You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's It me. is. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you be honest and apologize? And admit to the fact that I have feelings? No! I am a man! And men cannot do that as per man code! Man code is a bitch! And we have to go through it! It's like menopause, except nothing like menopause. That was probably a joke I shouldn't have made, but I did, and I can't take it back now. Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? In the other timeline! Oh, my God! What? What was that memory? Already. Because no. If Dante keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The stew. You said you would take me. Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, not yet. Okay, fine. Soon, okay? You promise? Promise. Hooray! Talk to me again. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Yeah. It took you to get this to fix. Anyway, should we head out, Iris? 
right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. She's still mad. She's just sitting there. You. Huh. That's an old Yankichi cinema video. Oh, Yankichi cinema. Oh, God. That's like so rare. Who? How do you all know who that is? Driver. That's the cab driver. Thank God he was here. Okay, let's go to the Sejima residence. I left Iris in the car, probably for the best. Figured she didn't want to see him. I parked the car a little ways down. She doesn't know that I'm here. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry. Because it's not his son's face, I guess. I don't know who told him, but he must know about the switch. What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. Figured as much. Huh. Why are you here? That's a strange question to ask a man in his own home. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. Eighteen years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kumakuras to hide the body. This is true. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a sin. Um... No, it definitely is, dude. I'm sorry. Are you familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? Relatives of those who have committed crimes cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. Really? It's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. Good. Leave. This is my country now. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest of my days in leisure. Kind of wish you'd have been murdered. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People. Who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. That's true. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Is it? Nope. Why did you call Shoko's phone? That is a question we never got answered. Three months ago, in 902 on Friday, Shoko's body was found. So called her burner phone. I asked him why. It is kind of what led to us finding it and everything. Do you recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Yes. Why did 89 want you to make contact with Shoko? I can't say exactly. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. Ah, so Rohan figured out that um, Saito was in Shoko's body at the time. At the time, Rohan was in the body of 89. Maybe Rohan realized it when Shoko came to visit the prison. That it was really Saito inside Shoko's body. That's what we meant by realized everything. Rohan needed to speak to Saito again. But he couldn't, not from inside Fuchu prison. Instead, he called up So and had him do it. Maybe he thought he could get Saito to visit again. Hmm, who knows? Did you ever meet number 89? By the way. Did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> that helps us! Why didn't you look for Saito six years ago? Six years ago, my mind was implanted into the body of Saito.
Ow, God. Do, do we really need to see this again? Like, was this, uh, like, like relevant? We already know. I lost my memory and ended up wandering the streets until Boss found me. He hired me at Abyss and gave me the name Kaname Date. But so, Saito's father never put out a missing persons report on his son. Why? Because of the woman you call Boss. I figured... Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released to the public. What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? Yeah, I get it. Boss is smart. I didn't have much of a choice, of course. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. Yeah, apparently the only person you actually loved was Monica. And then, you know, you cruelly abandoned her and she was murdered. She was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely for That's me. how he had so much pull, it makes sense. Oops. Oopsie. About the chemical plant eight years ago. I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kawasaki. It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. Oh. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. Oh, this is interesting. Dad, I thought of a plan. A foolproof plan to make us rich. A chemical plant explosion plan. To help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. True. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. Ah, I see. Again, we, we've seen this! As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent plan. You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. Ah, I see. Well, we're done. Well, I'll be seeing you, so. I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> we parted without saying goodbye. Oh, damn. I left Iris waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. Where should we go next? Well, uh, let's go to Abyss and then the Sagan residence and then we'll wrap this up. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Uh, hey, boss. Thanks, boss. Computer's not here. Hmm. About the boss. Boss, you visited me a lot when I was in the hospital, didn't you? You're softer than you look. What do you mean by that? Do I not radiate an aura of gentleness and caring? You literally called me a slave before. But I didn't treat you like a slave. That's, that's, that doesn't really matter. Other than sometimes making you clean my boots with your tongue. You did, Date? I absolutely did not. Uh, well, boss, about six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask, why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. 
I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. Makes sense. How are you, boss? Why are you asking? You see me every day. Are you gonna go to the club later? Interested? But you're still a bit too young. I'll take you when you're older. Promise. Oh, good boss. About Iba. Still thinking about her, huh? Yeah. No, not exactly. Well, it doesn't surprise me. You two were great partners. I miss her. I miss you, Iba! I want to ask you something. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final words, I looked like I do now. I wasn't in Dante's body, but Iba still obeyed me. Second command confirmed. I understand. You're underestimating the Wadjet system. Huh? Iba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways. Including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think, maybe, she knew your soul, Date. She did. She did! By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Close your eyes. As I was told, closing my eyes, okay. And suddenly... Was I knocked unconscious? Don't worry, it's just some knockout. Guys. Why? What? You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present. I am Why? very... Shh. Sweet dreams, Doc. Ah, this seems bad! Why am I in the sink machine? This is the sink room. Why am I here? What's going on? Pewter? Pewter? Hey man, what are you, uh... You are... You're Kagami, right? Yes! Yes, you remember- Of course I did! I made fun of you for it! About my face. I heard plastic surgery. Oh yeah, change my voice too. I practically sound like nothing, or I I don't look and sound anything like I used to. Must have been a really bad wound to have to remake your whole face. Oh god, face. yes. But it looks like it worked. Oh good. Least. Oh, it's the inspector I see everywhere. Haha. <laughs> Where's Iris? Don't worry, she's with the boss. She's safe. Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be I want to punch you in the face, Pewter! Of course not. You should have been arrested three months ago. Pewter was working with Renju, or to be precise, Saito inside Renju. Also, here's something important. Something very, very important! You killed Iba! You bastard! I will never, ever forgive you. EVER! You took best girl away from me because you didn't understand! So fuck you! He was leaking confidential information to him. Peter also helped Rohan inside the body of number 89 escape. Peter was immediately punished and fired from the force. Yes, I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. You should! You broke a lot of laws and you killed Best Girl! Then how are you here? Hmm, I wonder. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay! Boss brought him here. She did? Why? She told us not to tell you. Huh? 
Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? A little, it? yes. Did you sink with me? I did not. But I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. Why am I here? Everything that the boss did, she did for you. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you, you know. That's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. That's true. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she? Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. Okay. Was that just so I could talk to Pewter again? Iris, what happened to Boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play! Play? Shovel Forge. No. Oh, we're going to your house. Never mind. Iris, didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital? Yes, today? you're the last stop. Yes, Mom. I still have some people. We do? Who else has left? My uncle really wanted to come. This here. is true. I did. I said no such thing. Come on, don't be shy. I'm being very shy. There are a lot of things you want to talk about, right? Come on, just do it. But I'm not ready. Of course I want to talk to Hitomi. I want to ask her about all the things that happened in the past six years. And I want to apologize for shooting her in the arm. But that's not for me to ask. Even showing up here like this isn't right, honestly. Uncle, you're so shy. The more I feel horrible. Iris is teasing me. Maybe I could use that sometimes. She can help me loosen up uh, some of my rusted screws. Uh, talk to Iris. This is easier. Who cares about me? Talk to her. That's what you came for, right? Kinda? You tell me about Monica and Renju. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table, and it was about shooting invading aliens or something. Space like invaders, that. I know it. We talked about all sorts of things sitting there. Love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about our teachers. So you were a normal teenager, got it. It was their idea that I become a teacher. You know, they told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Oh. Those were such fun times. How have things been? Things have calmed down, thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. About Iris's recovery. Thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. No, I didn't do anything. Also, uh, that name. Oh, sorry, Mr. Date. I'm grateful from the bottom of my heart. About your right arm. I can't ask her that. I was the one who did that to her. No! Stop! Oh my god. I was silent, but she must have noticed by my face. If this is about my arm, don't worry about I worry that. about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. Hitomi and Iris know everything that's happened so far. You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. You have to take responsibility. By marrying her? Sure, let's, let's do it. Uh, Iris. No, let me talk. Uncle will be your right arm. That's how he can make it up to you. 
Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side, and we can go wherever we want. The three of us, to the ocean, a river, an amusement park, barbecues, and we can make okonomiyaki. Yeah, we can. Where's that hot plate I bought? On the shelf. And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating! You're planning on being covered in flour? Of course! That's why it's fun! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. That's sweet. Six years ago, I was an assassin. Nothing I can do now will make those crimes disappear. But if I protect them, make sure they're always smiling for the rest of my days, I figure that might be enough to outweigh my sins. nice. Where else do I need to go? Harbor Warehouse District. Why am I going here, of all places? As the final location. Ah, oh, final stock footage! Warehouse District, huh? Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah! I already suggested that we come to the warehouses. Thought it was odd, but drove her here anyway. She wants to honor her real mother. Thank you for today. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Is the date finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, please. What? Wait. You want me to close my eyes? Do you? And just do it, quick! Oh. I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh man! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. It's, happening. it's happening! I tried to keep my cool. All right. I close my eyes and. Okay, open them. What? <gasps> You better be real! I opened my eyes, and there before me was... <laughs> CRY! When we were at headquarters, they put her back in! Everything that the boss did, she did for you. I'm so happy. At Abyss, when I lost consciousness. Yes. Pewter embedded me in your eye socket. Oh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm wearing a new piece. I can hear I have a- Oh no! the whole time. Boss told me about the plan to restore Aiba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so... Is this my thank you? Yeah, but it's not over There's yet. more? Huh? Oh, you idiot! You idiot, I thought you died. I was worried about you. Pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruction. And I cried for you! I cried so hard! Anyway, I want to know something. The number. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? I see. What is it? Iris, do not- TELL ME IRIS! Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? D? 
A, B, C, D. It's D. Okay. And the first. A. And the twentieth. And the fifth. Date. <laughs> I see. Four one two zero five. It's Date in numerical form. What's going on? Allow me to explain. Please do. I, or everything that constitutes <clears throat> I, disappeared completely three months ago, including all of my backup data. However, fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded to cloud servers around the world. For were they? By downloading and decoding these fragments, I was able to regenerate my memories and... Oh my god, you are the most amazing AI ever! I will not! Oh my god! I'm so happy! Anyway, um, Iba. Welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm home. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, sweetheart. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead, I think we should celebrate with a dance number! Yes! Alive. Please hit it. Teacups that are flying on maps, Mr. Flying. You'll think that I'm flying. I love this. This is the best ending ever. A permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre, fruit never expires. You've seen it your And this is the best way to like roll the ending credits for this ending. And it's like I was real because she's right there next to me. There she is. Even with the devils of time against you, never let the fire fade. Yes! In you. See the golden goddess with wings. The rainbow sets sail through the night sky to embrace you. Resist all of your heart to take you. Never let the stars of this world erase you. Passing down the light of the torch to guide you. And you shall be bathed in light. I am so so happy! Thank you, God! Thank you, Watch It System! A punch to the forehead, my kick like a what? forehead, you're pinned on the floor spread. I'm queen of this frog. What are you doing here? And I'll show you why. I don't wanna hide it, that's what I decided. I can't live divided. I know I was wrong. I love you more. Well, that's nice, okay. What? Hello, boss. Your arm is moving. Her right arm is moving. I am very confused by everything that's happening. Why is everyone here? I'm not. A, what is going on? This does not seem real. Hi. Well, hello, people. There he goes! Yeah! I'm who they say is the best detective. Although without me, he's ineffective. <laughs> That's it, we're done. I'm walking out of here. Yay! I know. Welcome back. While the old mother heads walk.
Ah, the blind need the blind, the marble loses shine, the eye clouds by design. But we know in our soul the one hope, the one truth that if we believe we can, we can make miracles. Even with the devils of time against you, never let the fall. I love all of this. And they got the entire English cast to actually sing this! It's so good! Yay! Go rainbows! I'm happy about everything! Dear God, I love all of this. Oh my god. All the endorphins are rushing and I love it. By the way, everyone, the reason you can see me right well, now is because I'm projecting oh myself my onto special technology. Oh my goodness, I learned all the over that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you call me a bridge one more time! I Okay, I could I didn't get most of that. I was I was like oh oh, oh what do I say? Oh, oh fuck. Thank you for playing. Resolution route and thank you for playing. Your eyes have been opened. That was Awesome! Oh boy. Dance? Has been unlocked in the title menu? What is dance? I think it's just gonna replay that dance. We'll, we'll find out here. Oh! Oh! Okay, cool! That are flying on maps, mystifying. You'll think that I'm lying. This old tale of mine. Okay. Totally worth all this. I love it. Ha <laughs> ha! I paused you. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Yay! Never explain why Miyuki, uh, Mizuki can lift so much weight. Oh. There she is. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Play grand finale. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Okay. Holy crap! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did it! That is the end of AI The Somnium Files. Holy crap, what an amazing journey that was. It wasn't quite as balls to the wall as, say, um, the 999, or like a, uh... Come on, Brady. The Zero Escape series was. Because the Zero Escape series went way into, like, you know, that fantastical elements. Whereas with this, apart from the multiple timelines thing, you know, like the parallel universe thing, and him obviously sharing, like, memories or, like, knowledge with himself. Apart from that, it was all kept very, very, like scientific like the machines are what traded their bodies and everything so i have to say i am super impressed with this entire game and i do wonder if i missed anything i don't know if i really did um i'm very quickly gonna load my game and see where like where i'm at here where, where i go to yep that was the true end timeline and all those were all done and everything, so there's nothing else to do. The only thing I'm thinking of is... 
I'm going to go here where I was before so I can... Uh... <laughs> Warehouse? <laughs> Let's go there just so that I can... I want to see his other reactions to Iba, actually. Hold on. Oh, whoa! Okay. What? I want to see what the other reactions are. Scold her? Oh, wait, no. We're going to save. Appendix? Epilogue timing. The epilogue is meant to take place in February, three months after the events of the main game. This would technically mean that Falco lost his uh, memory seven years ago, yet in the epilogue, uh, this, incident, this incident is still referred to have been taken place six years ago. Why? Because I used six years ago so often in the game, I thought it would be really confusing if everyone uh, started saying seven. But seriously, in the epilogue, Falco lost his memory six years and three months ago. I decided it would sound too clunky to be that specific, so six years ago is what we went with. Well, thank you for specifying. Still miss something. Woman in So's Somnium. Why didn't she look exactly like Iris? Okay. Well, that kind of makes sense there. Uh, memories of Hitomi's visits. Huh. Hitomi visited him multiple times. However, he was in... Oh, Rohan was in the body. Did Rohan tell Hitomi that he was not Falco? Well, of course he did. At first... Hitomi didn't take it seriously, thinking he was making up a story in an attempt to cut ties with her. She did have doubts, but who would believe that a different person, a uh, person's personality was in the body? Despite attempts, Rohan never convinced Hitomi. Time went by, Rohan gave up trying to explain, figuring that she would never believe him. He decided to live as prisoner number 89 for the rest of his life. Whenever Hitomi came to visit, he would just sit quietly and listen to her. It only eventually stopped bringing up the past entirely, and instead talked about recent things that had happened in her life. Oh, that's interesting. Investigation expenditures, huh? Okay. Well, see, I still wonder what this is. What number 27 is in all this. Because I don't know. Maybe I have to unlock all of the rest of them to get it. I'm going to look that up real quick. Hold on. A few moments later. Okay, so from what I found out, it looks like um, once you get all the rest of these, um, you will get um, the last one of them. So what I think that I'm going to do is... I'm going to take a little bit of time, my own time, and I'm going to be back in just a second because I'm going to go and I'm going to collect the rest of these so I can show you the rest of the pictures. And for you guys, I'm signing off for like a second, but for me, I'm, uh, I'm going to be gone for a while. So, I'll be back um, in just a bit, and I'll show you all of these, and then we will get to all of the cute, adorable Ibanus. One eternity later. Okay, so after going back through all the Somniums I needed to, and going all over the place with the whole damn timeline... I finally managed to get all of the album files for you. I haven't looked at them yet, because as you can see, I haven't, so I'm interested. So this is from Ota's. Oh, her breast flat from that. Oh, and that's nice. I like that. It's the concept art for um, the... I can't remember what that one was. That was the um, uh, Sunfish Pocket. That's it. Oh, and then her on the birthday cake for um, Mayumi's. Oh, and the Odoroki Man stuff. Okay, cool. And then Date A. Oh, oh, that's like Iba wanting to be carried by him. That's adorable. Oh, and then Shoko. Shoko and Renju. Huh. All right, and then Boss, but it wasn't really Boss. It was, you know, Saito, but either way. Oh, she's just part of the domino effect. <laughs> oh, different designs for the boss. I actually liked what they uh, came up with last. The middle one actually looks more like Shoko, actually. Huh, interesting. And then Iris B. Oh, from like when we resurrected her. Well, tried to in that other timeline. Oh, boy. Oh, and beta designs. Oh, and then, you know, Iris when she was 12. Oh, that's what... 
Is that our, No, I think that was the current design they didn't go with. And now the album is complete, so we're gonna see what this looks like. Album complete. <laughs> All the pictures everywhere. That's pretty cool, actually. I like it. I like it. I am... I'm happy, guys. I'm happy because we're at the end of the road. The game is completely finished. But we have a couple of more things to do before I sign off. And that is... Hello, Iba. Alright, so let's scold her. You, you... You can't walk around dressed like that. <laughs> You'll catch a cold. It's flu season. Look at you. You look like a ghost. Your skin is already... Transparent. <laughs> it's been a long time, Kanami Date. Yay! It has, Iba. Be amazed or be stunned? Let's be amazed. Oh. That's it? You screamed? Oh, I wanted more than that! Come on! Be stunned. Oh, I think I like that one the best. Although, um, the crying, the crying one is definitely what I chose. Because I was like, <laughs> she's back. Oh, and you know what? This is where I'm going to leave it. Instead of going back to the main menu and everything, I like this. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me on this amazing adventure. Thank you for being supportive, being good, and just, it's, I'm so glad that I've got, you know, a small number of people that enjoy playing games with me. Even though I'm just, you know, I'm a small time person, just, I do YouTube for fun, I don't do it for fame or anything like that, I do it because it's something that makes me feel fulfilled, something that's fun, and thank you very much for being here with me and enjoying this with me. So... Thank you for joining me, as always. Not sure what I'm moving on to next, honestly. This was, like, a big one I wanted to play, but if you guys got any suggestions, as before, leave them down in the comments. And believe it or not, I do look at all those and see which games I think would be good for a Let's Play and some that would not. Some of them are good for Let's Plays. The big problem is, is that a lot of the ones that I've been suggested in the past, I have played before. <laughs> And, like, um, I used to do games I played before as Let's Plays, and I'd do it every so often and everything, but it's gotta be like, I played this game years ago. But some of them, it's like, yeah, I already played that, like, recently, so, yeah, not always able to do that. But, either way, thank you again for joining me, and, you know, if you can, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know how you're doing, let me know what games you want me to play. But most of all, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. Hi, best girl, Iba. I miss you. And, uh, <laughs> welcome home, Iba. <laughs>